Вечер в хату, everybody! It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna do Car Rig. It's gonna be more technical tutorial. How to make necessary controls for your cars, like wheels rotation, suspension leading to front, back, right and left, auto wheels rotation for forward moving, and if you're my patron, you'll know how to do rotation wheels for forward and backwards moving, and such a cool detail like a dynamic trails. So, you know what time it is. Let's jump right into the Cinema 4D. Make sure you have a car and four separate wheels. Put all the car objects into the null. Call it car, then put it in another null. And call it car rig. We would need such structure, because car rig will move the car and the car null will rotate it for a drift. Right click on the car null on programming tab, choose Espresso. Put this window under your viewport. Drag here any wheel you like, for example front wheel. In its output choose object, then on the left side search for bounding box. Connect both objects. Find vectors to reels and drag it out. Link box size to the input. Look for formula and drag it out. We would need a result node also. Connect Y vector to result and then connect to formula to value 1. Copy the result node and then connect output of formula to result. In formula window, write the formula PI multiplies by dollar $1. On calculate tab, choose animation refresh. First preparations complete. Select all these nodes and choose the color to separate it from future ones. After drag out the car rig, choose the position from coordinates transform. After previous position also. Find the distance node. Connect position to input 1 and previous position to input 2. Then we need a result node. Connect distance output to result. Move a car a bit and make sure it's working. Next node we need is range mapper. In the range mapper settings, change output range to degree. Link distance to range mapper. Then you need to connect output of formula to input upper of range mapper. Choose any wheel you like. I will choose front wheel. Check the right axis for a rotation and set it as an output channel. Search for a math node. Connect the wheel rotation to input 1 and range mapper to input 2 of the math node. Node. Leave the math settings as default. Then you need to drag out all the four tires and on input channels you need to set the right rotation axis. Sometimes some wheels have different rotation axis so make sure you double check it. When it's done just connect the math node to all the rotation inputs of the wheels. Check it by moving the car wheel node and see how the tires are working. There must be properly rotation of the wheels for a forward moving. Now you can select all these nodes and change the color for them to separate them from other ones. And remember, if you want to know how to do the proper rotation for forward and backwards moving, be my patron. Now select the car rig, go to user data tab and select manage user data. Add a new group and name it car rig. Add a new data and name it lean. Set data type to vector and interface to 2D vector field. Set the minimum value to minus 1 and maximum value to 1. That's how the cross position will be right in the middle on the zero position. Then create another data and name it wheels rotation. Leave data type as float, but change the interface to float slider. Set the minimum value to minus 100%. Now on a car rig null, we have a car rig tab with the, all the controllers, same we have on car rig null. So let's set leading x, y and wheels rotation as the outputs. Drag out the range mapper, connect leading x to its input. In range mapper settings, set output range to degree. And put zero to output upper for now. Make a deep breath and let's continue. Drop here your car body object. Check your left, right forward and backwards leading axis. For me it's pitch and banking and drag them out as inputs. Connect range mapper to the side rotations. On user data leaning set 1 to x. Then on the range mapper set the maximum leaning angle. When you'll choose the number just set the second number as a negative of first one. For example my numbers are minus 7 and 7 degrees. Set input lower as minus 1 and input upper as 1. Test how it works. After this greatest success let's duplicate the range mapper. Link leaning y to range mapper and output of the range mapper to set Second rotation axis. Set user data leaning y to 1, then tweak the lower and upper output numbers. It's gonna be your maximum forward and backwards leaning. Then you can play with the user data square leaning to make sure it works well. Next is gonna be the front wheels rotation, so check the axis. Drag out both front wheels, then for the input set the right rotation axis. Duplicate the range mapper. Set everything to 0 for now. Change input range to percent. Connect wheels rotation and range mapper. On the range mapper set input lower to minus 100% and input upper to 100, output range to degree and output upper to 0, then connect both wheels with the range mapper. 
On user data wheels rotation set it to maximum. In the range mapper set the maximum rotation angle for the wheels. Same logic as the previous ones. Test it now how it works. If you have the same irritating issue as me with the inverted left and right leading and also inverted wheels rotation, we need to do a couple more steps to fix it. I'll stick my foot so far up your ass you'll be able to taste my damn shoelaces. In the range mapper for wheels rotation, change input lower to 100 and input upper to minus 100. Then on a side leading range mapper, set 1 and minus 1 to inputs. Now everything works as it should. I got it! <laughs> so let's make a quick driving test. Create a circular shape, make it bigger, set the line to spine tag to car rig, turn on tangential, make the fast animation. That's where our car null is handy, so rotate it like a car is drifting. Then in the user data, play with the leaning and wheels rotation, and boom, you have your small Tokyo drift. Can he drive? Can he drive? <laughs> Congratulations, you have your own car rig. If you want to know how to do more advanced stuff, like automatic rotation of the wheels for forward and backwards moving, and make it dynamic tire trials that will in real time dynamically calculate your car movement, be my Patreon and get all the benefits. So hope you like it, enjoy it, learn something new, like this video and put your comment below. Subscribe this channel and ring the bell to not miss even more cool stuff that are coming. Check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuff like realistic rain shader pack, modular corn and many more. And don't forget about my Patreon. Be my patron and help me do even better tutorials for you. So be my patron, you can find the link below. And don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support Ukraine, that is very important now. So stand with Ukraine. Virtov the Ukraine.